What we have here is an electronic device that's called a race receiver. If you're watching this, I'm sure you know what it's for, but if for some reason you don't, this is used for uh, track officials to communicate with drivers at like your local dirt track where I race. And uh, I've had this one here for uh, about six years now and it served me well right up until this past Saturday night where when going out to uh, start the feature on the outside of the front row, I didn't hear anything. And then at times I could, well, hear some static and then I catch a word or two or something, but uh, yeah, she, uh, she don't work no more. So uh, I'm gonna take this thing apart and look to see what's inside and see if maybe there's something that I can fix. When I got back off the track Saturday night, I got out of the car and I looked at this thing and I picked it up and I, you know, took it out and swapped the battery and I, you know, I got to shaking it and I said, well, huh, uh, there might be something wrong. And uh, I got to playing with it a little bit and took the battery cover holder off. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but out popped this little electronic component. And I thought, well, huh, I bet that might have something to do with our problem there. And you can see how just how tiny this thing is. And it does have some numbers on it. And I looked it up, and uh, this is the crystal component that clocks the timing so it knows what frequency, you know, it's, it's at. And, uh, you know, hey, that, that probably would uh, make sense because when I put a battery in, I put another new battery in, like all I saw on the display was a whole bunch of turning and twisted and like, you know, it was kind of funny actually. So uh, let's see if we can get this thing apart. See one screw here, is the only thing I can see to get us in the door. Hmm, a little bit of movement there. Phew, that took some work. Boy, I hope I can get this thing back together again. That was a lot of, uh, a lot of cursing to try to not break this thing. So as you can see, there's really not much to it. Just a couple little printed circuit boards with a LCD display. And it does look like it is, uh, it is pinned together. So I'm betting that I'm going to be able to get this thing apart here. It looks like this uh, spring thing here on the outside, it looks like it's something to just retain this LCD display. So uh, let me see if I can figure out what i got to do to maybe get this off of here. Oh, shoot, yeah. Come on, baby. You can do it. Yes. Kind of. Come on, baby. There we go. So, do we see anything that's missing? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Well, today has turned into tomorrow. And I've had to go and pull up some data sheets and do some research on these different IC chips to determine what their pinouts are. And I think that this is actually more than just a spring of a thing. I believe it's actually the, the antenna for the radio. This is the radio receiver chip right here. This is a signal amplifier. This chip is a two-channel MOSFET power amplifier. He's going to supply the audio that's going to come out of your headphone jack. And finally, this guy is a Texas Instrument microcontroller. He's also a 96-segment LCD controller or display driver. And uh, when I got out a magnifying glass and I counted all these pins down through here, I found out that these two pins are supposed to be the oscillator, which matches that that our component was. So, 
I've got my uh, soldering iron out that I've had since, well, shoot, since high school, man. So we're talking the mid-90s, and uh, she still works. And I've got her all heated up here, and uh, I'm going to see if I can't get her attached back onto this circuit board here. Okay, well, she soldered on there. It uh, took me a few minutes, and I'm not going to make you go through all that. And, and it looks like it's a pretty good connection. I did get the magnifying glass back out and, and check everything. It does look like I got close to that trace, but I'm not on it. So uh, let's uh, see if we can put this thing together here and uh, see if she works. First, we let the smoke out. I prefer work, but... Ha <laughs> yes, look at that. Cool. She appears to work. Excellent. So, I just got to tell you, I did cheat. I did buy another brand new one of these, just, you know, <laughs> because that one was broke, right, and I need one. So, after I already found the answer through, you know, my own research, I last night I decided I was going to pop this thing open and just check myself, and yeah, I'm right. But I noticed they've got this little uh, foam pad in here. I think it's to try to possibly dampen some vibration or something and maybe keep it isolated in there. So I think on the other one, I'm going to take and silicone it up back before I put it together. So we'll see what happens. much what it sounds like for most cautions lineups and uh, post race direction at least at my local track I captured the radio traffic for this video with the receiver I repaired connected to a recording device in the trailer of course I wasn't going to put the one I just fixed on the car when I had a perfectly good brand new one right there fortunately the issue with my particular receiver wasn't too hard to fix and I kind of figured that when that large of a component fell out into my hand. As you can see, there were a lot of tiny surface mount components in there, and there's no way I personally would try to replace some of them. Like the microcontroller or the LCD display, I don't have the technology or the patience, and financially, you'd probably be better off just buying a new one. If there's a bunch of black ink looking schmoo on the LCD display of your race seat, I saw a video suggesting if you contact the manufacturer, they might be able to sell you a replacement board, so at least now you know how to detach the two halves and connect them back together. Honestly, I wanted to repair the one in this video with the most rudimentary of tools, just to show if the right things broke, even I can fix it. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyed the in-car experience. If you did, please hit the like button. 
check out some of the videos in my racing section. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.